uh, got uh, played two solid periods and then it got away from you there in the third period. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, um, the Michigan's uh, play in the third period. Well, I, I thought, you know, I thought we played pretty well overall. I, you know, we made a really poor mistake uh, on the, the, the go ahead goal you know, having an opportunity to get it out of our zone. I, I think that that's just as, you know, a simple play that needs to be made. But, you know, it's uh, it's hard just to the fact that, you know, two point shots, um, their, their point men were a factor uh, all weekend. And, you know, we tried to have an answer for it, but our guys, uh, you know, had a hard time getting in shot lanes. I mean, they block a lot of shots from the points and we need to find a way to do the same thing. Um. You happy with the the way uh, Dylan played two games for you this weekend? Yeah, I mean, he didn't have much chance last night. And then, like I said, I don't know if he saw either one of those two point shots, the goals, because of the traffic in front. You know, we just have to find a way to do a better job of getting in shot lane so the puck doesn't get to the net in that situation. And you got to do a little bit better job cleaning up around the uh, net. That's what uh, the insurance goal that they got tonight. Yeah, well, that's been a, that's been a little bit of an issue for us all season. And um you know, it's just, we got two big freshman defensemen and in these type of games, it's hard to have them on the ice all the time. Um, you know, their time is coming to be in that situation. And that's, you know, that's something we're going to have to, you know, to, to do better over the next, you know, month here. And then, you know, moving into the future with those bigger guys, you know, as they become sophomores and juniors. Okay. That's it for me, Jeff. Thanks. Sure. Then we'll close with a question from George Bashura. George. Hey, good evening, coach. Um, in your coaching experience, this isn't the first time you've seen a team get, you know, win a big set of games and then come off and not win um, the next the next series. What's the message to the team? What what do you pull off from your past to get these guys back on track? Well, hey, hey, maybe we're going on the road for four straight games is a good thing for us right now. Um, you know, I think that we're more, I think we're more dialed in uh, for whatever reason on the road. I, you know, I can't explain it, you know, like, you know, I've never had to, you know, give any type of motivational speak, uh, speech uh, prior to playing Michigan, but I thought I needed to today because yesterday I just thought we got out competed. Um, you know, so for us, it's like, it's really a matter where they want to end up. You know, it's, it's got to be on our leadership. It's got to be on our upperclassmen to, you know, to just, you know, say enough is enough in these situations. You know, the tough part, the, the tough part for us is after beating Minnesota twice is, you know, we're, we're probably playing the next best team in the conference. Uh, if they're not, you know, they may be the best team in the conference. I think it's yet to be said. So uh, there's certainly, you know, as skilled and talented as Minnesota, they're just, you know, younger. So uh, playing the top, probably the top two teams in the conference back to back certainly didn't help matters. All right. Thanks for your time, coach. Yep. Thank you.